Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson. Uh, you saw the intro. Today we're learning how to play Jesus Wheel. Alright, so we're going to keep E flat. Go ahead and grab your guitars, tune up, and let's get started. Let's start with the intro. Alright, so let's break that down. So right there in the key of E flat, we're going to start over the 1, we're going to go to the 4, and then we're going to go back to the 1. So we're playing E flat, but instead of playing that full shape there, we're going to play a subset of that because we're assuming that you have a keyboard player, a bass player, and all those notes are being handled. So we're going to play the second inversion of the E flat. Uh, so right there over the 8th uh, fret, we're going to bar uh, our D, G, and B strings. So that's the E flat, and then we're going to go to the A flat. Again, we're going to leave that bass note out, and we're going to start right there on the 10th fret on the D string, 8th fret, and then the 9th fret. And then we're going to play an E flat 9. So right there on the 11th fret on the D string, 10th fret, 11th fret. And I'm sliding up to that E flat 9. So you do that a few rounds and then you're going to come out by going here. So we're going to walk down from the 1 to the 6. So that's the E flat. So we're going to play a dominant 7 chord. Alright, so starting on the 11th fret. Then we have the 13th fret. 11th. 12th fret. 11th fret. So that's an E flat 7. And we're going to walk that down to the C7. Alright, uh, just a little movement. Alright, so let me play that walk down in context and I'll move into the next section. Well, I'll do it here. So we just uh, went from that 6 to the 2. Alright, we have an F minor 9. Alright, so you can play that minor 9 or you can add that B flat on top to get a minor 11. Which sounds pretty cool. Alright, so let's, let's call out those uh, frets. Alright, so on the A string, we're on the 8th fret. I'm using my second finger for that. Then my first finger is pretty much gonna bar the sixth fret. And then I'll add uh, my ring finger on the G string on the eighth fret. And my pinky right below that. And you can add that 11 back in if you want it. All right, so now we have a B flat 11. Uh, so that's really an A flat chord with a B flat in the bass. So I'm using my thumb so I can get my forefinger to do that. 
Ooh. All right, so let's call out that. So my thumb is on the uh, E string on the sixth fret. Skip the A string. Uh, ring finger on the sixth fret. Fifth fret. And then the fourth fret. And I'm hammering on with that pinky uh, on that sixth fret. E flat major seven. So starting on the A string, sixth fret, eighth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret. And then you can get that, you know, up top as well. All right. So now we have a D flat seven with a flat five. All right. So my second finger is on the um, ninth fret. Skip that A string, ninth fret, tip fret, uh, eighth fret. And then going back to that C7 that we learned already. So in context, So now it's time for the walk up, and with that walk up, we're pretty much playing an F major pendant tenant scale. Uh, F, G, A, C, D, and back to F. But we're gonna play uh, some, you know, kind of some notes in between. So from the F, we're gonna go to G, half step up to the A. C, D, F, and then we'll do the same thing up an octave, but we're going to stop on that C. Go back to the five, so that's that uh, A flat with a B in the bass, so that uh, B flat 11. Resolve to that E flat uh, major seven. Same two chords that we learned already, so that D flat seven with a flat five to the C seven. So that whole thing in context. So you do that same form again, uh, and then we get into that bridge. So that time I didn't do the lick. Uh, so, so what we're going, we're going from the seven. I'm sorry, so seven, three, six. And so over that seven, over that D, we're actually playing that uh, D11. So that C with the D in the bass, just like we did over B flat. Then we're gonna play, uh, what is that, a G7. So on the 10th fret, uh, my third finger, my ring finger, 10, 9, 10, and then 8. And then we're going to go to a C minor. All right, so you pretty much just bar the 8th fret, and then you play the 5 and then 1, the first degree. Uh, so on that, so I'll just spell it out. So we have uh, 8, 10, 10, and the rest are 8s. But over that C minor, we're playing this little lick. It's a C minor um, pentatonic. But we're gonna play C, D, G, E flat, C. F, G. And 
And then we're gonna go to the four. So that's an A flat nine. Half step up. up. All right, so let's start from that four. That A flat nine. So on the 11th fret, I'm using my second finger, 10, and then bar the 11th fret. Uh, that's an A diminished seven. So 12th fret, my second finger, uh, 13th fret, 11th fret, 13th fret. Now we have that E flat seven again, what we did in the beginning, that walk down in the beginning. To that C7, go back to the same lick. All right, so now we're up on the vamp. So, let's do the walk up. So we're gonna start on the third degree, that G. We're gonna take half steps till we get to the fifth degree. So that B flat. And that time we're gonna play a minor nine. So let's spill it out. So we have our second finger on the 13th fret, 12th fret, 13th fret, 14th fret. So then I'm gonna hammer on that uh, E flat. So uh, pretty much we can just use that B and G string. So we're just hammering on from that, that uh, A flat to G with the B flat on top. All right, so, so what the bass line is doing right there with that vamp is just going from the A to that B flat. And so there's a couple things I'm doing there to add a little variation. So we've got that, that A7 to that E flat 7. Just to add a little flair or, you know, little interest so I'm starting down here so we know that our diminished sevens are move movable by minor thirds so here that's the same thing so let me call it out so my third finger is on that D string on the 10th fret 8th fret 10th fret so I'm getting that diminished seven I'm not playing the full chord And I move uh, my my third and my fourth fingers up. Keep that E flat right there on the G string, and that's how I get to uh, that dominant seven chord. So kind of similar to that E flat nine that we learned in the beginning. And so then I do. So take that A flat seven, and then I hammer on to that E flat. So what we just did, so. All right, so what I'm doing in between that, those little ghost notes, I'm playing a power chord. I'm playing that E flat, B flat, and another E flat. And you see a lot of keyboard players do that like when they're uh, playing bumps and things like that or praise breaks, just to add a little uh, rhythm in between the notes um, and so then finally we have that last part so let's start with the uh, quick change so same course we already know so that same thing we did in the intro. So that E flat, that A flat. Now we're going to add the diminished chord that we just learned. And then move those two fingers up.
And then we're gonna walk down using the same chords from the E flat seven. C7, lick. Back to the E flat major seven. All right, guys. Um, let me know in the comments if you like this approach where I actually take the time to break down uh, the fritz and things like that. I know the video takes longer to finish, uh, but you know, if you are a community member, if you hit that join button, you also get the tabs to these lessons. Um, so it kind of depends if you're, if you like just the tabs or you like me breaking it down, let me know. All right. Uh, so thanks for tuning in to this lesson. I'll see you next time.